Speak to us about Cain Velasquez and his transition into the world of professional wrestling, particularly his feud now with Brock Lesnar. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I mean, MMA fighters and professional wrestlers, there's always been kind of since day one. I mean, Kim Shamrock, of course, you got my uncle, my dad, which were shooters, Billy Robinson, you know, of course, you get Hamill. There's been Haku, there's been great shooters before um, this, but. I'm really not sold on it. I'm kind of, I mean, I'm good friends with Brock, but I'm just not, for me, it just, I don't really know if I'm going to watch it. You're not sold on Cain Velasquez or this particular feud between Velasquez and Lesnar? Um, Velasquez. I just don't think, where has he trained? How, to be able to go on pay-per-view and have a match where, you know, you still a show, unless it's some type of gimmick match, but to actually have a, you know, six, seven star match, one of those things that, you know, you really knock it out of the park. I mean, I guess so they just stick to like, it would kind of be like a little bit of MMA and then a little bit of professional wrestling, but we've kind of seen that before and it doesn't quite work. What is it that doesn't make it work in your opinion? Well, because cause I, I'm, I'm countering because some people say there is a market for that sort of, uh, you know, that sort of wrestling, you know, this this uh, hybrid form of professional wrestling and mixed martial arts. We're well, seeing it. It's well, I mean, if you look at Matt Riddle, right. Matt Riddle's a great. I mean, what he used to—I don't think he actually lost it, but he held the record for one of the fastest knockouts for UFC. Uh, what was it? Ultimate Fighter, I believe he was on. Some yes. Yes, yes. no. I, mean, I believe it was Ultimate Fighter. He right. had the quickest knockout, and then of course he fell to drug test, and then you know whatever. They all did. Yeah. Right. But now he's killing in WWE. Yes. But okay, here's the thing is, he's able to sell. Is Kane going to sell? Is Kane going to sell for Brock? Or do they still have some animosity together? Is there sort of some heat? We don't know. So is it, because if there's two guys that are just going to go at it and they don't kind of sell and there is no kind of storytelling because they don't want to work with each other, then it's just going to be kind of crap. It's going to be a bunch of kicking and punching compared to when you look at someone like Riddle where he'll go out there and tell a story. Right. He'll be involved. He'll actually sell and then set up the MMA moves in the right spots to make it all make sense. Agreed. Uh, on that point, what advice, last question in regards to Velasquez, what key advice would you give him? If, if you were to give him advice, what would that be? Man, I, to be honest with you, good luck. I mean, you've already been in there with Brock, so... You already know what a, what an animal he is, and you, you guys have all seen him in WrestleMania and stuff like that. He does not care, and I think Kane's gonna be into some treat because he's also stepping into Brock's world too. Because the WWE is Brock's world, so it's not like they're, they're kind of not an equal playing field. Brock is the big dog on 